Hey guys, how's it going? Let me guess, you're thinking about getting started with high level, so you're trying to figure out what pricing plan is for you? Well, let's go ahead and break that down and talk about the, the few different options here. If you're new here, my name is Connor. I've been using high level for about the last three years. I recently decided to start my own agency about six months ago, and I'm here to teach you about what I'm learning. All right, so let's get started. Over here, you can see the three main pricing plans are $97 per month, $297 per month, and $497 per month. So for pretty much most of you, if you're just getting started, there's really no reason I'd recommend anything besides the $97 starter plan because it is so feature packed. You'll see with a lot of other softwares, um, the pricing might start a little bit lower, but it scales up so much faster that this bang for your buck is pretty incredible and you get pretty much all of the features with the $97 per month plan. You can see here just all the tools. I'm gonna to throw those tools up on the screen here as well so you can see all those things that are included, but it includes things like pipelines, um, the automations, all of the conversations in one tab. It includes a funnel bil builder, a calendar. Seriously, so many features are packed into that first plan. Pretty much everything in high level you get on the first $97 per month plan. One of the only limitations is that you do get limited to only three sub accounts. However, I will say this is new that it used to actually be a limit of just one sub account and they've upped that to three, which is pretty awesome. Because if you're a new agency owner, uh, three clients is plenty to cover the cost of $97 per month. I mean, you'll cover that with one client. So this really allows you to grow at a, at a small price. And with that, let's get on to the next plan, which is the $297 a month. Really the main difference here is going to be unlimited sub accounts, as you can see. So this means if you're an agency owner and you're scaling up, you should definitely go for this plan because you can have as many as you want in there for the same flat rate, $297 per month. A couple other features that you get here are the API access, so you can integrate with all sorts of other apps um, that is a little bit limited on the $97 plan. The other thing you'll get is this branded desktop app. So when you're logging into your actual high level software, instead of doing app.gohighlevel.com, you can throw in your own custom domain and you can log in that way. So that's kind of nice and makes it a little bit more professional as well. Okay, and now the SaaS Pro plan, the $497 per month plan. This is the big dog. This really has everything possible with Go High Level and the main thing you're getting here is SaaS mode, which is allowing you to get automatic sub accounts created for you. So you don't have to do anything. So if you have a website that allows people to sign up for your software, they can go ahead and do that and, and create their own sub account automatically. It's not going to require anything from your end. So that's a pretty cool way to scale. Although I will say it is harder to actually do that unless you have more of an audience or you're a little bit more established. I would say jumping straight to this plan if you're a beginner, probably not the best move unless you have a really solid plan for starting SaaS mode. A couple other features with the 497 plan are rebilling. So that applies to a few different things. As you can see here on Conversation AI, you can rebuild the Conversation AI. So every single message that is sent with their Conversational AI. So you can rebuild that by charging an additional one or two cents or something like that. It also applies to things like SMS, email, all those things you can rebuild. So yeah, this one has everything you could need if you're, def if you're more established or if you're really trying to go for that SaaS revenue then this would be the one for you. So yeah, you can check out all these pricings on this website. It is funny though, sometimes the other websites you'll see, they don't list that 497 plan. So you have to find the right one, I guess. And I think that's partially just because maybe they're not sure the beginners want to get into that 497 plan, not sure. So just a few other add-ons here. You can see I've entered the agency view of high level and under marketplace, you can get to a few uh, different add-ons. Honestly, if you're a beginner, I'd say you probably don't need to worry about any of these add-ons. These are all mostly extra for things as you're scaling up, as you wanna get a little bit more professional, things like that. So we've got a white labeled mobile app. You can do that mobile app for iOS and Android and build that quarterly, 1400 per quarter. You can also white label Zaps if you wanna do that. And the last thing is this Eliza platform here. So you can do $500 a month to really consolidate everything into one platform to manage all of your sub accounts in one spot. Additionally, you can sp spend $1,000 to have an advanced account set up 
and they'll do that all for you. Or if you'd like, you can sign up with my link down below and I'm happy to jump on a call and help you get set up for Go High Level if you're interested yourself. All right, and that's all we got for today. I hope you learned a little bit more about the pricing of Go High Level. Hopefully you found the one that's best for you. I'm guessing it's probably that starter plan if you're just getting started, but maybe a few of you might be wanting to go into the bigger plans. And if you have any other questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comments below. I'll get right back to you. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See ya.